Hey YouTube, it's ICU and today I'm going to show you guys my top 5 tweaks for iPad 2 users. And I'm going to start off by saying that some of these I have covered in the past, however they are worth mentioning again because some of them have gained improvements and also it is kind of hard to find tweaks considering most iPad tweaks don't actually work for the iPad 2 as of now. Only a handful of tweaks do. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and say my top tweak for the iPad 2 is called Spring Tomize. It allows for ultimate customization of your device. You can access the settings inside of settings under extensions and you will find it in Spring Tomize. Now you get a ton of different options. You can completely customize your icons, dock, status bar, lock screen, folders, app switcher, buttons, animations, and you can change the theming for it as well. So this is an awesome tweak, and I'm just going to say that this is actually how I got it to say ICU ID up at the top instead of iPad. Now you can also change what it actually says on your lock screen too. So for instance, it has an arrow and then it says to unlock instead of saying slide to unlock so you can change that with spring to mize as well and again you can do a ton of different things and you can change the uh, theming of it as well so I'm going to go inside and we will go to lock screen and for instance I can change a couple of really cool things like I can change the color of the uh, clock so we will change the color of the clock to uh, blue and what you do is you just respring it. It has a button up there and you just confirm the respring and then it will apply all of the changes that you've made. Now I'm not going to go into depth on all of these changes because this is a really in-depth uh, tweak and it has a lot of different changes. So again, I'm not going to go into depth on that, but as you can see, it is blue now. So it just allows for a complete customization of your device. So that was the first one. The second one is called MT Gestures Theme, and this works for everything as well. Basically, it allows you to use multitasking gestures on your device. If you are unfamiliar with multitasking gestures, you use four or five fingers to pinch in on an application, and it exits out to the home screen. Four or five fingers swipes up to actually unveil the multitasking bar and you can switch between different applications with four or five fingers as well. Now this is a really great alternative to the home button, and again this does work on the iPhone and iPod Touch as well. The only downside is that you have to actually use Winterboard to activate it. As you can see here, I, I have iPad 2 gestures enabled because obviously I'm on iPad 2, but it also gives you gestures for other devices as well. So the third one is SB settings. Now this is definitely a obvious choice and this is definitely a obvious uh, tweak to get but I'm going to go over it again because people are still to this day asking me about SB settings. So for those of you that don't know, SB settings just allows you to easily access different settings from basically anywhere on your device. You just use a custom activator method to open it up and from there you can change for instance your Wi-Fi status whether it's on or off, airplane mode, brightness you can control that from with anywhere so that's really nice and you can also get custom uh, toggles from inside of Cydia that you can use with SB settings. So the fourth one is FreeSync. Now, contrary to its name, FreeSync does actually cost a bit of money inside of Cydia, but it is definitely worth it in my opinion. I'm not going to actually demo it, but FreeSync allows you to uh, use your device while you are syncing it. I'm just going to show you guys some of the settings for FreeSync here. As you can see, it even allows you to change the notifications when you are syncing. So for instance, you can have the HUD up, you can have a pulsing bar if you want, alerts, and play sound. So this is a really great tweak if you want to actually use your device while it's syncing. And I know this is available in iOS 5, but again, if you are on iOS 4.3.4 or lower, FreeSync is awesome especially if you are an iPad 2 user and again you want to use your device while you're syncing it and again there is no jailbreak for iOS 5 for the iPad 2 not even a tethered one the only jailbreak is for 4.3.3 so uh, again if you guys do want to have that then you should definitely check out FreeSync it's better than some of the other co or competition for FreeSync 
So the final one is called YourTube HD, and it allows you to actually save things to YouTube or from YouTube to your device. So for instance, I have downloaded one of my videos right here. It is really simple to download a video. All you have to do is find a video, and I'm just going to access my history, go to my video here, which I actually already have downloaded, and then all you have to do is hit done and get to this setting screen right here, and you can just hit download. Once you hit download, you can pick high quality or low quality. Now I already downloaded it in high or in low quality before, uh, so this is just the high quality one. It can take some time to download, but once you have it downloaded, it is really easy to uh, simply access it. So I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi. As you can see, I'm connected to Wi-Fi right now. I'm going to use SB settings to actually turn off Wi-Fi. Uh, so now Wi-Fi is off. And I can play my video. YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak off, and it's going to get ready to show you how to enter DFU mode. Now we can do this ahead of time, so it actually bypasses the inst. And I can do that without actually being connected to a Wi-Fi network or 3G. So again, this is really awesome if you guys like YouTube videos and you want to download a couple on the go, or for instance, if you don't have 3G or you can't tether your phone to your iPad, this is a really great alternative to that. Or maybe just you want to save on battery. Uh, I know that can save on battery because you aren't connected to the internet, and that does take up battery as opposed to just watching your downloaded video. So I hope you guys liked this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments section below. Be sure to rate this video up if you liked it. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.